The exuberant conservationist known as the crocodile hunter, Steve Irwin, died today, killed by one of the dangerous animals that he spent his life protecting. He was swimming with a stingray off Australia when its poison barb apparently pierced his heart. This is Irwin as he headed to his final expedition. Irwin stalked lions, stared down snakes, and wrestled crocodiles. Why would someone like Irwin always court danger? Well, researchers think they're beginning to understand. And ABC's David Muir takes a closer look. He's probably sitting out there in a camouflage position. His millions of fans likely thought Steve Irwin's final tangle would be with an angry crocodile or a venomous snake, not a stingray. But in the end, his fellow wildlife enthusiasts believe he simply got too close. He came over the top of a stingray and a barb, the stingray's barb went up and went into his chest and put a hole into his heart. Irwin was shooting sea creatures for a TV show he was planning to do with his eight-year-old daughter. Today, Irwin's American-born wife, Terry, boarded a plane with their two children. Their two-year-old son, Bob, carried a stuffed pink pig. They were returning early from a family vacation. Got him! Irwin was famous around the world, known as the crocodile hunter, wrestling with reptiles. It's no secret Irwin's kind of work takes a certain kind of person. And researchers have been studying them for years. They're sort of natural born rule breakers and uh, they're always pushing the, the envelope and trying new things and they're often quite creative and, and sometimes, you know, they break the rules. And there were many who thought Irwin broke the rules with this move nearly three years ago. With his infant son in one arm, he dangled meat from the other, just steps from a hungry crocodile. Is there nothing in all these months that you now say, that I won't do again. I won't do that again. No, I wouldn't say that. But it was certainly a risk. And scientists say they're gathering hard proof there are several factors that fuel risk takers, among them genetics and the chemicals in your brain. Researchers have studied the release of dopamine, for one, which creates a feeling of reward. A thrill seeker's brain craves more of it. I think that it's hardwired in our brains, in our bodies, in our biochemistry, and I think that our psychology also has a lot to do with it. Irwin's team now says there was tape of him in his final moments, but his legions of fans around the world are likely remembering him this way tonight. Hey, give me a kiss. David Muir, ABC News, New York.